Hello everyone, Reza here. Welcome to another how to video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use quick masking to freeze part of your mesh inside Adobe Substance 3D Painter. Let's get started. Here I am inside Adobe Substance Painter. I've got a, a normal plastic spray bottle with one texture set, no material. And if I go to texture set settings, all the maps have been successfully baked. Now, because everything is in one texture set and I don't have UDIMs, it becomes a little bit difficult to customize my masking. Let's say I want the bottle to have a separate material and then I want that ring to have a separate material and I need to have that nozzle to have a separate material. Then I need to right click on the layer that I'm going to create and I need to create a black or white mask and I need to start painting out areas I want to exclude or include. That takes time. Now here's the magic comes with quick masking that allows you to freeze certain part of your geometry so you can comfortably paint on the rest of your geometry. Let's see how we can do that. In order to achieve that, I need to have just a default material. So I'm just going to go with that plastic glossy surface, drag and drop it in there and have that in place. Now, in order to apply quick masking, you need to make sure that you have a layer, a paint layer, not a fill layer. Right now, I've got a normal fill layer and quick masking is not going to work on that. Always remember that. Go to add layer, that brush icon, click on it. I'm going to call that quick masking so we know the role of this layer now with that you need to make sure that your brush is selected your paint brush hover your mouse over your geometry and press Y on the keyboard now as soon as you do that two things happen first I get a black brush that is located on now a checkerboard looking object and the second thing is I've got quick mask reminder at the bottom of both viewports how cool is that now I get a gray scale brush where I can choose black or white now basically black is going to freeze the geometry everywhere I paint and white is going to unfreeze acts as an eraser so what I really like about this is you can kind of go in here and combine 2D and 3D. So I can go in here and start kind of painting on this area and working my way up. And let's say I'm going to freeze that area. But again, I'm going to run into the same problem where I need to kind of um, reduce the size of my brush and be very delicate with it that might take time let's say you are looking for a single click solution no problem you can achieve that with quick masking tool now while this is a common way of applying quick masking tool i still wanted to show you this my preferred method is to use quick masking with polyfill tool so polygon fill is amazing. You can click on it. Then you go to UV chunk fill, this icon, the checkerboard here. And all you need to do is to click on a piece and it selects its UV shell and it's going to freeze that UV shell. How cool is that single click solution? Now I can comfortably press U on the keyboard and start painting.
So I'm using 2D window and 3D window to paint my material. And again, you can be kind of careless about it. You can see I'm starting painting going over the ring and it's not going to have any impact. Now, just keep that in mind. Substance Painter is not going to remember this quick mask. To get out of that quick mask, you are going to press Y again. And once that's done, this mask is gone. So I'm just going to press Y again and it's gone. If you would like to have another paint stroke, then you need to regenerate the quick masking. Now, let's say I would like to give these indentations a different material. I'm going to use the same method, polygon fill. I'm going to use this time my UVs. Again, going to UV chunk fill. Make sure the color is set to black. Click, click. I'm going to select and create another layer, selecting U, and I can just start painting. Simple as that. And then I press Y to get out of it. And there I have my paint. So literally a single click solution. I'm going to add another layer. So this one was quick masking two and this one is quick masking three you need to make sure that i'm on the layer that i want the paint layer i'm going to press y polygon fill uv chunk fill and i need to make sure the color is set to black and i start clicking on the areas that i want to be masked now this time i want everything to be masked but the ring so i can he comfortably kind of paint the ring without going into other areas. All right, that's done. I'm going to press U and now I can start my paint. You can paint a color as a base mesh. You can drag and drop stencil or material. Let's say I want to make this one to be red and I'm going to start with the red color and simple as that applying my material on this layer and the rest is frozen so i'm not really worried about oh if i'm a little bit inaccurate or careless with my brush i need to go and pick up the eraser and change stuff by the way i is going to invert the quick masking so something to be mindful of you can at any point of time press i to invert it now that's done. I'm going to press Y and get out of quick masking and done. So hopefully you found this uh, little tip useful and use it in your workflow in Substance Painter, freezing your geometry through quick masking. Remember Y to activate, deactivate the masking and U to start painting at the same time. You can use my preferred workflow polygon fill using UVs to freeze certain items so you can just with single click start painting the rest of your model. Thank you very much for your support and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until the next video, see you guys later.